Hello everyone, my name is Tom Valenti. Welcome to my YouTube. My very first video, first of many that I will be producing exclusively for YouTube. In these videos I will be sharing with you my watercolor techniques through a series of demonstrations that I hope will make painting an enjoyable, very rewarding experience for you. My first video is not about a demonstration, it's not a demonstration, but it's more an explanation of the value system that I use to create my paintings. What we have here are two examples of very simple landscape scenes. Before we get to those, let me just tell you the breakdown of the value system that I use. We have five values to choose from. Rather than the array of nine, maybe twelve values that many people incorporate in their work, I've broken it down into very simple terms. Light is light, dark is dark, middle tone between the darkest dark and the lightest light, a tone between the darkest dark and the middle tone, a tone between the middle tone and the lightest light. Now since this is transparent watercolor, the lightest light is white paper or very lightly tinted paper with a color. In the first subject here, we have our light coming from behind our right shoulder, casting a light onto the front of these buildings and casting a shadow to the left. But what you see here is the value system broken down. First of all, when you do a painting or when you are trying to, uh, when you're viewing your subject, always be certain that you are looking at the value of what you're looking at, and not just what color is it. But ask yourself the question, what value is it? How light or how dark is that surface? In this case, we have our lightest light in gray here, lightest light, transposed into our color, which is our still lightest light. Then we move on to our second value for the sky. And again, transposing it into color, still the same value. We move on to our next value, which is the middle tone, which is on the rooftop here, and in some of the touches in the foreground. And we relate that, translate it into this rooftop here and here, as you see, matching the value, but now in color. Next, we move on to our next tone, which is right here and uh, it's in the shadow areas of the building and along the bottom of the roof line here and in some touches in the foreground and then again in the color we have the same value in that shadow and finally to the rooftop and the shadow here in the eave we have here and here the shadow of the rooftop now in color but the same value also notice that the values are not bad and in this respect, what we're saying here is, in this one, we have a predominance of lighter values, working in this higher key range, with just a couple of accents of the darker values. In the second scene, we have our light coming in from the left, casting a light on the left side of the buildings, and throwing the facing portion of the buildings all in shadow. And again, in the first one, we choose our a slightly now darker value scheme running to this this end of the value chart and rather than working with a predominance of the light tones and values as we did here we are now working with a predominance of darker tones and so in the first wash we we lay down our sky which is a close to a, a middle tone here and then we translate it into the color here Moving on, we, we start to paint our next tone of this, this, this value here between the darkest dark and the middle tone, and we put that in the dark shadows of the buildings. Always being sure that we're painting around the light, preserving the white of the paper to indicate our light source. And finally in this one, we put our dark rooftop in, a few accents in the foreground, and we finish the arrangement both in black and white and in color. Remember, 
This is essential. And it is absolutely important, very, very important, that you know and understand how to work with the values when painting. Visit my website to see more of my work or look at some of my other entries on YouTube about my work and you can see the way that I incorporate this system into some of my own paintings. Thank you very much. Please come again. I look forward to our future discussions and talks about watercolor painting.